Welcome back to Woody Shrooms. I am Woody. My name is actually Woody. Anyways, get yourself a pot of water, 500 mils of distilled water. For each hundred, for each 500 mil jar, you need a tablespoon of dark malt extract or light malt extract and a tablespoon of corn syrup. I put that into a pot with 500 mils. You put 500 mils in there because you're going to be pouring 100 mils into each jar afterwards. So here's the light corn syrup that I use. So you want to dissolve it on medium high heat and when everything is dissolved then you get your coffee filters ready. You put them in the jar, you fold it over, you fan it out, you put the ring on, you make sure there's a little bit of a dip in it. Once the rings are all on all the jars you take your mixture, you pour it into some kind of a pouring utensil um, and this way you can measure out 100 mils into each jar. You pour it into the coffee filters and you let it sift through. What happens with the coffee filter is you are using the coffee filter to filter out the dark malt extract. It does leave a residue behind. Light malt extract may not do this. I take a spoon and swish it around to make sure that a lot of the water is down into the jar. Uh, as you can see I'm doing here. Try not to poke a hole in the coffee filter. They are very fragile. Remove all of the filters from the jars and then top it off with distilled water. It doesn't have to be cold, lukewarm, whatever. Fill it all up and then we're going to be adding some weights, stirring weights to each jar. You don't want to forget the stirring weight because you don't want to have to put them in there after the fact. Um, this could cause a mold problem or contamination. You want to pressure sterilize everything. I have injection ports and the micron filter lids that I made. I will be making a video on that shortly. Put your lids on and then wrap your jars in tin foil. I make sure my lid is a little loose because I do not want to ruin the micron filters that are in there. Wrap them in tin foil, make sure the lids are a little bit loose, put them in your pressure cooker. Once your 15 psi weight starts rocking, turn it down to medium high and set your timer for 25 minutes. And that's it, away you go. When they cool down, take them out and they're ready to be inoculated. Thanks for watching. This is Woody from Woody Shrooms. Peace everybody.